Welcome back to the studio uh, at the end of uh, a very productive, very exciting workshop. This is what a studio looks like in the aftermath. There are paintings all over the walls. When we came in here at the start of the workshop, it was a pristine white box. Now the walls are full of energy, vibrating. Uh, it's alive. Uh, it's a wonderful feeling. Maybe I can help you with some ideas about how to take things further after you've been in a workshop like this uh, or after you've done these exercises at, at home. So let me offer you a few uh, bits of advice that might be helpful to you. Uh, the first thing is uh, to find a time to work on a regular basis. It's so much easier to work when you're doing it every day or almost every day than it is to do it for a week, give it up for a month and come back. So make it a part of your everyday life. And some artists set quotas for themselves. I'm gonna work X number of hours a day or X number of hours a week. Whatever works for you uh, is fine, but try to make it close to every day and make it as uh, make it something that's doable, not something that's so lofty uh, that you're probably gonna fail. So don't set at first a 30 hour a week goal for yourself. Uh, set something that's very reasonable, very doable that you can achieve. And then if you wanna raise the bar uh, and set your sights higher, you can. Uh, one thing that can make this really easier is to set aside a place that's your studio. And this can either be uh, a room, a wall, uh, a four by eight piece of plywood leaning up against a wall, uh, or even a tabletop uh, that is yours, where you can leave your art supplies, uh, you don't have to put them away, you don't have to clean up, it is your studio. That way, whenever you wanna work, you can walk right in and it's ready to go. Uh, next tip, which is uh, really important, uh, is to uh, keep in mind that not everyone is equally adept or able uh, to give you feedback about your work or to be a judge uh, of the value of your work. Uh, some of the people that aren't so qualified to be a judge of your work uh, may be your family members or your best friends. Uh, so, so keep that in mind. The next thing uh, that I would urge, urge you to do is to find some community. And the easiest way to do that is to join the local art center, art museum, or the universities. Most, most universities has, have a Friends of Art program that you can join, become a member. Uh, they keep you posted on all the shows and lectures that are coming up, and you can become an active member of a university art community. Uh, one of the best things about that is that, that university galleries uh, show uh, for teaching purposes, not for sales purposes. So they can show work that's much more adventuresome and exciting. And finally, um, the best thing you can do for yourself, uh, moving on from here, uh, is to uh, edit uh, your critic or keep your critic uh, self-criticism at bay. So we all naturally uh, have a critic inside, uh, a doubter, um, an analyzer, uh, one that asks you to justify what you're doing. Is this really worthwhile? Is this really important? Is this painting really good enough? And that voice that asks, asks all those questions, you need to try and tell it to uh, take a hiatus, give it a sabbatical. Even if it's only telling uh, that voice to go away for the next two hours, that's good enough. So be kind to yourself. Uh, and patient with yourself, uh, and you'll do uh, really, really satisfying uh, and wonderful work.